Okay, so now we're going to work on solving equations that are going to involve nth roots. Uh, we have solved the equation 2x to the fifth equals 64. We want to isolate the x to the fifth power, so we are going to divide by that 2. So we get x to the fifth equals 32. Now, to cancel something raised to the fifth power, you can raise it to the one fifth power. Because 5 raised to the 1 fifth power, just remember, is x to the 5 over 5, which leaves us with just x. We can raise the 32 to the 1 fifth power, and we want to recognize that is the same thing as the fifth root of 32. And fifth root of 32, or 32 raised to the 1 fifth power, is 2. So we get x equals 2. All right, we need to write in just another example, because there's you're going to see why. I want to make sure you have this in your notes. So let's add in an equation, x to the fourth power plus 5 equals 86. What I want to point out is this equation had an x to the fifth power. It had an odd exponent. What happens if your exponent is even, x to the second, x to the fourth? Now, if you remember, anytime you solved an x to the second power, you got two answers, a plus or minus. So we just want to make sure that we consider this when we are solving these equations as well. So let's isolate that x to the fourth by subtracting 5 from both sides. So x to the fourth power is equal to 81. And then we can do um, raising to the one to the fourth power, we can raise that to the one fourth power on both sides. Remember that leaves you with x to the four over four, which is just x. And then 81 raised to the one fourth power, is there a number that we multiply by itself four times to get to 81, and there is three. Now, if we were to go back and think about plugging a three back in here, is three to the fourth power equal to 81? It sure is. But when you have even exponents, what if a negative three was raised to the fourth power? Like if you were to type in negative three in parentheses, raise the fourth power, you would get a positive 81. So even roots are going to have two solutions, so we need to include the plus or minus if we're taking an even root, or if we're dealing, I guess, an even exponent, and essentially we took an even root over here when we were solving. So look out for that one.